riding a hoverboard right now. Um, well, this is a hoverboard, sure. But, there's this little trick that's honestly, you can't do it on one hoverboards anymore. Like, you know, but these things, a lot of people say they're obsolete now. Most people think they are. I don't. I love my hoverboard, and I'm getting another one for Christmas. So, um, hint, it's gonna be a chrome green one. It's gonna be sick. Uh, and the style of it starts with an L. Okay, I'll just say. I'll just say it's a Lamborghini style chrome green hoverboard. Doesn't go that fast for a Lamborghini style, though. But, anyways. These things are fun to ride. This is like, you know, your generic hoverboard. People think these things are obsolete now. Well, I think one company doesn't think. Oh, yeah, that's right. One wheel. But anyways, um... I just... Yeah. <laughs> This thing, this is like your generic hoverboard that you would get in 2019. This was made in 2019. It still works. It's pretty fun. Honestly, I didn't expect a working $85 hoverboard to turn up at my door. I kind of expected a bomb to turn up at my door. Whatever. Let me show you the basics of the slug. Hear the motors? Aww. So the first thing you want to do is, you know, duh, turn on your hoverboard. I... It doesn't matter if it's self-balancing or not. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter if it self-balances like this, if you don't apply any pressure. Or if it's the one that you have to apply pressure for it to balance. It doesn't matter. All you need to do is put your forearms right here. You can't grab onto the board like this. This is kind of a different way to slug on the flat board. I like to call this one because this is a chill style, I suppose. But what you're supposed to do is do this. And then drive away. But it's so hard to do that because I don't have any muscles. But I, I could do push-ups. Ooh. But anyways, you use your forearms. And if you have, like, one of the fatty boys, pick this like that. Or a one wheel. You can't do this on a one wheel. You can only do it on the generic, you know, your average hoverboard. Then all you have to do is shift your weight on your chest. Put your chest on the board. For real, at least. Because you got to do it like this to steer on a, a, you know, your twisty boy hoverboard that pivots. Pivoting means that one side, one half of the board can go backwards and the other half can go forwards and it'll spin like that. But um, mine doesn't do that, so I kind of just lay my chest on this flat part right here. And, um, yeah, I am off. Just a cool little trick. I'm a ride now.
Okay. Oh my god. Now you know the basics of the slug. I know it was kind of a short video, but hey, I just wanted to show you guys something new that like kinda that was kinda already a thing. If you just got a hoverboard, just make sure to, if it's not a one wheel, make sure get used to riding the hoverboard. Then you can do the slug. If you already have one and you already know how to ride it, then you can do the slug just freely. Cause I taught you guys how to do it. I'm not gonna get any views on this video because it's about attention. Not to me at least. Okay, bye.